Guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we have the split volt 24 amp charger. We're gonna take a look at, and we're gonna be installing that and see how it works in the Tesla Plaid on supercar street racing. This is a split vault NEMA 10-30 charger, and it came in this beautiful bag, which I probably won't use because I have a Tesla mobile connector coming for the car, but this will be permanently mounted in the garage. And so let's see what's inside of this. This beefy cable, this is the 16 foot version because that's all I need and pretty good packaging. The box was damaged, however, the inside had no effects, and it's got this nice split bolt, little thing asking you to email them if you have any questions. And then, of course, here is your charger. And just like most of the chargers, I don't like the fact that it doesn't have much of a pigtail, however, that's okay because it has a 16 foot cord and it doesn't have to go that far. I was hoping I wouldn't have to mount this on the back wall, but it looks like I will mount it right next to the dryer, right off the pigtail, and then take it into the car. So I did return the Electron charger. It uh, would not do over 16 amps, and so it was a little bit cheaper like $100 cheaper and it wasn't worth it. So I returned that and I got the 24 amp charger which I will open now. Here's a look at the Electron on the front with the power light, charge light, fault lights, maximum 24 amps. And on the back we do see that it has the capability to be mounted right there with a screw, which we will have to use a drywall insert. And then we have our J1772 connector, and I have a J1772 adapter, and this should be a NEMA 1030 plug hiding under there that I will open now. Okay, here's the NEMA 10-30. I do have a splitter for the dryer, so we will go outside now and get this thing plugged right in. All right, back behind the dryer, we already have the NEMA 1030 splitter there. We are going to go ahead and mount the split bolt right next to the washing machine here. The washing machine actually, of course, does not need the 220 volt uh, circuit, does not need it. It's the dryer on the other side, but we're gonna mount this thing pretty close to the splitter right here where it looks good. And first we gotta vacuum up all this junk and clean up this back. All right, I got the area all cleaned out, nice and mopped. It looks way better. So now my plan right here, right now, is to get this charger mounted somehow. And I need to figure out the height that we're gonna put it back here as well. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, we got the split volt 24 amp charger mounted on the wall. Now we have to work on some wire management. I am unfortunately almost out of these big clamps and I don't think the next size up will fit. I'm gonna try it. Only got one of those right there and I've got two of these and I really need like three or four. It's a complete bummer. None of these other ones will work. Maybe I have something else around here I can use but I want to get the wire tied up all nice but I'm not going to be able to use regular screws because the drywall is just going to break out so I've got to use inserts and all that so I'm going to work on that now. I got the Clamps installed on the wall there and there. That one's a little bit too big. I'm actually going to go down to Ace and see what they have. But this size is too big for it. It's the size down below that and I don't have any more. And I want to get something to mount to the side of this toolbox here, or the, the uh, workbench to hang the hose on right here so it coils up right on the edge. So I am headed that way to do that now. Headed up to Ace Hardware, the best place on earth. It's pretty close to the house. We're in the Tesla Plaid. 
that I don't fully understand how to operate yet, but I've been having fun playing with it for sure. Just took Susie out for a ride and absolutely blew her mind. And all I can say is this car accelerates at an insane rate that I've never felt in my life. I've had 1,000 horsepower Supra, 800 wheel horsepower, both my wheel, my Supra and my IS300, and they are slow compared to this car. I can't imagine what a 15 to 2,000 wheel horsepower car actually feels like. It just has to be unreal because this thing is a beast at 1,020 horsepower. And I don't know how much parasitic loss there is. There's no transmission, so it must put most of that down to the tires. Uh, it feels like it does. Because I'll tell you right now, I haven't had a car that would even come close to this car. So I might take this thing out to the street races at some point and see how we do, if I can get somebody to go with me and film. Because this thing is a beast to drive and film. But yeah, we're headed to Ace Hardware right now. We'll be there shortly. All right, so this is what it looks like after I got done. We have the split vault charger right there, secured to the wall with cable clamps. It runs along the wall like that, comes down the side of my workbench, and then I installed this nice hook for the cable. Just a word of advice, 16 feet is not enough. If you need to reach all the way across your garage, you would have a problem. I have enough, I think. I think I did a good enough parking job. Let's see. Yep, I do have enough, and so I have the J1772 adapter right here. I don't have my tripod with me, I'm so mad because I've missed a lot of tape filming because I didn't. But this J1772 adapts most public chargers to Tesla, and you can either keep it in your car or keep it on your J1772 at home. If you keep it at home though, you need a second one for the car in case you can't charge with a Tesla supercharger. So this just fits literally right on the end of this, like so. It can only go one way. There's no way to mess this up. And then it goes right to the car. So I'm gonna do this now with the other hand because I am filming. The J1772 adapter is on. Let's see how the car reacts. All right, the charging port opened for me, and let's go ahead and charge. All right, the blue Tesla logo turned green. Don't know what that means. And it says charge on the split bolt, that we will have to get into the car and see what the rate is. It should be 24 amps. We could actually go on the app too, but let's go in the car. So it actually could see it through the window. Five kilowatt hours, 24 amps. So we can't go any higher than 24 amps with my circuit. Um, but that is, uh, what? 8 amps more than I had before. So I'm hyped. This is where you set the charge rate. And so it said two hours to fill up, so it'll take two hours to get to the tip of the charge. Very cool. So that is the split volt 24 amp level two charger for the Tesla, all mounted up and ready to go. I kind of like the uh, charging thing that was on the screen when I closed the door. I'm gonna try to get that to come back up so I can show you guys on video. So this is what comes up when you are away from the car. It says uh, charging time remaining, two hours and 45 minutes, 24 amps of 24 amps, 238 volts, six kilowatt hours. By comparison, a supercharger the other day did 62 kilowatt hours. So about 10 times faster would be my guess. But yeah. Looks pretty good. I might put a couple more cable clamps on this over here. Um, there's not much more I can do to clean it up aside from running something through the wall and plugging it down here maybe or something like that. But 
I'm not disappointed with this turnout. It's pretty clean. Um, there's really not a better way to do it. This dryer vent already looks like crap over here, so... Now all I have to do is put my charger right up on this hose reel thingy when I'm done. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's going to be a short one because I didn't video everything I was doing, but we'll see you guys really soon. Welcome to Splitvolt. Want the fastest electric vehicle home charger for the best price? Splitvolt Portable 24 and 40 Amp EV chargers have the best overall value with the lowest price and fastest allowable NEC safe charging rates. Its 16 feet length provides flexibility while also being lightweight. It coils easily into the included canvas carrying case. Splitvolt portable EV chargers can often use an existing dryer socket. Just plug in, and you have 21 or 37 mile per hour fast EV home charging. They are safety certified, come in a variety of configurations. The standard NEMA plug types support both existing and upgraded household power circuits. Splitvolt chargers use J1772 handle connectors that are common across North American EVs and fully support the standard Tesla adapter. Its design includes internal vehicle power protection and four LED indicator lights with real-time status information that will alert you to failures or issues with your power source. Although designed for optimum portability, the charger may also be easily wall-mounted just plug it in and you're fast home charging. Thanks for watching.